Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Malin and today I'm building a Japanese modern townhouse in Mount Komorebi. It is built on a 20 by 30 lot. There are four houses and four bathrooms. Three houses have one bed only. One house have two bedrooms. One bedroom is for a child. So I have been in Japan a couple of times. My sister and her family lives there, so I go and visit a lot. But now with the situation in the world, I haven't been able to fly there. But oh my god, wow. <laughs> what a beautiful country, really. While I was there, I visited uh, many cities, of course, but uh, one that I really love is Kyoto. Which is also my inspiration for, for these uh, houses I made in this video. I took some inspiration from Machia, 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 <laughs> the Japanese traditional townhouse, which is houses that are very close connected together along a main street that are both private homes and shops. You can find them a lot in Kyoto, but I made it more modern and more in a maybe more different style. And I didn't create any shops, just homes. I'll just tell you that I did place this build on another 20 by 30 lot in Windenburg. This is because the gallery picture on this build was bad. You can't really see the whole building because it's not built in the right way. But I thought my house really fit to this lot, so it was worth it. This build is meant to be a renting lot and I placed it on a renting lot in this world and it fits good but not in the picture. I really hope they fix the gallery picture in uh, Komorebi. Uh, I placed it on the other renting lot and it sucked farts there too. It shows the build but not the whole build so I decided to place it in Windenburg instead. There you can at least see the whole build so you can just change the, the lot if you want to but I wanted you to see the build, I mean, on the gallery. There's no point if you can't see it. <laughs> you get what I mean. I usually travel to Japan in November. The trees have this lovely red and gold color in November. And it's not too hot either. It's maybe 17 to 20 degrees. Not so many different insects. <laughs> Just a lot of spiders though, especially on the telephone line. You can see them hanging up there, it's so creepy. <laughs> it's like they are waiting for the right moment to jump down on you. But lucky for me, they have stayed in the telephone lines, not jumping down on my head. But when I was in uh, Miyajima Island, I saw the biggest spider I ever seen in real life. It was hairy and had long legs. It was between two trees just watching me with those big eyes just wanted to eat me. I was so close to go through his home, uh, but I saw the cob the cobweb shining. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> but uh, the island uh, is very beautiful though. Miyajima is a small island less than an hour outside the city of Hiroshima. Uh, you can take the train from Hiroshima Station to Miyajima Guchi. It takes about 26 minutes and when you have arrived, you uh, go like two minutes walk to the ferry bound for Miyajima. I definitely recommend you to go there. You will see deers freely walking through the streets. They live there <laughs> with humans and are not afraid of tourists. It's a very beautiful island. I definitely recommend you to go there. Something I think you should do in Japan as well is to go to the bathhouse, um, onsen. It's so relaxing and very hot and I believe it's over 25 celsius. The baths are separated, you have one for men and one for women, but you can also go to private baths uh, and I'm so happy we got got the, the hot springs in snow escape pack and also the shower because before you go in bath you have to wash yourself in shower stations with soap and also wash your hair with shampoo 
uh, and usually they have uh, hygiene products and towels there. It's important to be clean and uh, you should be completely naked but I know that uh, some bats say it's okay to use a towel in bats but uh, at onsen I have been on don't allow it at all but I have uh, just put my towel on the side of the hot spring and just grabbed it when I go up from the bath. If you don't want to, to show yourself naked, then maybe a private bath is better for you. However, in the... However, in um, some modern onsen, the water park atmosphere require their guests to wear a swimming suit in their mixed bath uh, but I mean ask first you you never know I like the outdoor baths the best especially if it's a little cold outside but the baths I have been on you can choose to be inside or outside uh, I think it's very relaxing to be outside because if it's getting too hot I can just go up and cool me down a little they also have uh, uh, cooled down uh, like bathtubs. Uh, if it gets too hot for you, you can just take uh, take some uh, cold cold water and press it on your face. I don't know if you could hear that, <laughs> but that was my cat. <laughs> he wanted to come and say hi as well. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry if I'm talking about other things than the build. <laughs> I just have so much to talk about. <laughs> but I will talk about uh, the snow escape pack and and and, um, and so on. So <laughs> first, I love the furniture and the objects, especially the kotatsu table, when the simmers uh, can sit on the floor and get warm under blanket. Uh, that it, uh, it is connected to the table. They are very cozy. I tried one once uh, I didn't want to to move from the spot. It was so warm uh, The paintings are also beautiful. Wish we could get a little bit more though, but we can't have everything and There are probably a lot of gallery art that we can use instead so and I love the kitchen counters. I like that you can place things under it and also that is a great detail. I mean, you save so much space if you think realistic. <laughs> I got the idea to place like a fountain pieces so that it looks like a small water stream of some sort. And then I place small bridges from the debug menu. Sadly, simmers don't go over the bridge. <laughs> They go straight through it instead, but it's a cute decoration and it fits so well to the build. I have to say that I got a little disappointed though when it comes to the beds. Um, I, <laughs> a beautiful bed, but uh, I kind of missed the futon. <laughs> I, th I don't know if they missed that, but <laughs> it's, it's kind of important. You know the futon um, yeah so but other than that I really like the snow escape pack it's a beautiful world and uh, the the furnishing are amazing I, I love the wallpaper the floor so yeah and I got many questions if I use any filters on my videos and I use something that's called reshade it's basically something that makes your game look so much better uh, and then you can add presents and I use one called Dove by Kindle Spice. I will put the reshade and the presents link I use in the description down below. Just remember that it can make your game a little slow if you don't have a good computer so I don't know if you can use it on console though. But uh, I really can't be without reshade now. It makes your game so much more beautiful. <laughs> Some reshades even make the game look more realistic. And uh, it's amazing if you want to take amazing pictures and not Photoshop the picture too much. It saves a lot of uh, time and it just makes your game look so much better, honestly. 
<laughs> Everyone should use it. <laughs> Who can? Um, I also want to mention that this is not part of the world save file. I use pack packs in this build and I will make a save file in mount in mount, um, in mount Komorebi as well, but that will only be built with snow escape pack. I just wanted to use the pack I wanted this time and like go all in. Um, you really need to vary with the, the base game builds and with packs, especially if you build a lot in sims, which I do. I also want to thank you all so much for being so supportive about me doing speed builds. It makes me so happy, really. And you don't need to, to wait for long for a video either. That also makes a big stone <laughs> drop for, from my chest as well. I don't like to be inactive on my channel, especially when you have to wait for a video for two weeks or so. It also stresses me out uh, a little as well. At least one or two vid videos a week, I think it's okay. Sadly, I think I need to stop talk now because I am sick and I need to lay down and watch Harry Pooper and just relax with some tea and and a blanket. But I hope you stay and keep on watching the video. I'm so sorry if I don't... It, I'm so sorry if I didn't talk for too long this time. I will definitely do that in my next video. Don't forget to give a like and to subscribe. And don't forget to smash that notification bell. Because if you do, you will never miss any of my videos. <laughs> And don't forget that you're amazing, of course. <laughs> bye bye! Oh, by the way, please follow me on uh, Twitch. Because I am streaming as well. It would be so much fun to talk to you guys. Okay, okay, I will go now. <laughs> bye bye!
Thank you.